Hey folks, what is going on with you on this lovely weekend? So I want to talk a little bit about Drone Strike, but I'm going to get to that. The play in the background is some AS Val gameplay. Uh, we're doing a bit of rush on the old Grand Bazaar. A little bit of attacking, a little bit of defending, just to spice things up. And I'm using the AS Val. In fact, this was the first time I'd used the AS Val. And I started playing with it, recording a little bit, and I thought to myself, it's just not quite right, because the AS Val, if you're familiar with it, it starts with quite a low magazine uh, magazine count. So you've got 21 bullets in your magazine. You then have to unlock the extended mags to really get the use out of it. It's a really great weapon. Uh, it's silenced as standard. It drops people quite easily. It's quite accurate if you tap fire. The only downside to it is that uh, magazine size. It's just <laughs> you run out of bullets so fast and you're always constantly changing to your side out. So I thought maybe it'll be better if I unlock the extended mags to begin with. You need to get 200 kills to unlock the extended mags. So I just jumped on some team deathmatch and away I went. I actually recorded that footage and I was going to upload it in a different video uh, just to show how I unlocked the extended mags for the SL because it was such a good video. I mean I was on like 100 kills, 10 deaths, something crazy. But unfortunately, alas, these things happen. Uh, the recording disappeared, it got deleted by accident, obviously my fat fingers. So that is gone in the wind. But let's get back to the main topic of this video. There's been a lot of talk going on about the first Battlefield 4 DLC called China Rising. Which I know is pretty crazy, and a lot of people have said this, and they're right. It's crazy that we're already talking about the first Battlefield 4 DLC, when not only is the game not even out yet, but we haven't even seen any multiplayer footage. Yet we are already talking about what is going to be the first DLC after the game is released. And when you put it like that, it is pretty crazy. Now I'm going to go a little bit left wing, I'm not going to talk about China Rising per se, I wanted to talk about something similar, but just a little bit different from China Rising, and I wanted to ask a certain question. What on earth happened to Drone Strike? Now, a little while ago when it was announced, it said it was going to be the first DLC for Battlefield 4, uh, and it was going to be called Drone Strike, it was on quite a lot of marketing material going around the lovely world of the interwebs. It was confirmed by uh, DICE at the time as well. Well, I think I know pretty much, and I'm sure it doesn't take a rocket science to work this out. I can say with 95% certainty exactly what happened to Drone Strike. And it's, uh, nothing. As far as I can tell, Drone Strike is China Rising. Just with a different name. Now, of course, I could be wrong, and there are other options as well, which I'll talk about. But the most likely is that Drone Strike was just a temporary name and they eventually settled on China Rising after some thought. There was a little survey that was going around as well, maybe they've taken some of that content on board. Uh, there was a tweet from the official Battlefield account uh, a little while ago, and it kind of backs up to a certain extent confirming that they hadn't fully confirmed the name of the first DLC. Uh, what's also quite telling though is the fact that China Rising, the information it states, all new high-tech gear. And considering the working title for the DLC was Drone Strike, it stands to reason that all that new high-tech gear could in fact be drones, and some form of drone control. It all seems to fit in quite snugly to me, like I've just put Battlefield in a onesie, tucked it into bed for the night. An odd thought, but we'll go with it. Now there are plenty of other options that could be true. Maybe Drone Strike is still called Drone Strike, but it will just be a later DLC. Certainly a possibility. Unlikely, I think. It's also possible that Drone Strike got canned completely, but that one is the most unlikely option, and clearly uh, DICE is not going to be spending all that time on DLC just to get rid of it. So I end up going back to my original idea, and for those people wondering where it is gone, my opinion is that it hasn't gone anywhere, it's just got a new name. Now not only that, but Drone Strike was meant to be the first DLC that you get with Battlefield 4. And of course you get that for free when you pre-order the game. And it stands to reason that as a pinnacle selling point of a pre-order, pre-order our game and get this amazing DLC, you wouldn't just randomly then change it. Instead they probably just sat down, had a word with themselves and thought, hmm, Drone Strike. Don't really like that. Instead we will call it China Rising. Great name choice guys, brilliant. 
no, it's, it's not brilliant. I probably preferred the original name, to be honest, but let's be fair, the name is the, the last concern when thinking about a DLC. Well, it is for me, anyway. Now it's time now to focus on Battlefield 4 itself. It's all well and good we talk about a DLC and what we're going to get in a DLC, but right now we've no idea what we're going to be getting in the vanilla game. And we need to be waiting for this vanilla game and we can then just go balls deep with thoughts and ideas on exactly how good Battlefield 4 is going to be. On June 10th at E3, live multiplayer footage, we should get an amazing idea of how good this game really is and really could be. And just can't come soon enough. The good news is that when it comes to the E3 footage it's a multiplayer demo that is actually going to be shown. So we're not just going to get a multiplayer trailer, we're actually going to get a multiplayer demo. And I'm imagining journalists and people like that will be able to play this at E3. I'm not 100% sure on that. I hope that they'll be able to do that because the more idea of the gameplay we can get and the more opinions we can get, we can kind of formulate an idea for ourselves. Either way, we're going to be able to get some solid multiplayer gameplay footage, and that's exactly what we want. So E3 is just two weeks away now, and that's where we're going to get all our answers. Probably we're going to get more questions. I'm just hoping we get to see some multiplayer footage, and we're just going to sit here and go, wow, I really like what they've done, and I hope we're not sat here going, Oh my god, what have they done? Only time's gonna tell on that one. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, as always, I'll catch you on the next one.